You know what's weird about those guys? None of them seem to give a damn. A, a colleague of theirs falls out of the sky and they seem okay with it. Is that guilt or indifference? Corporate brainwashing turns them into robots. Grief isn't productive, and that's all. I don't buy that. People make up their own minds. You can't brainwash them. Oh, sure you can. That's what these corporate retreats are all about. It's primitive brainwashing uh, via group suffering. It's like office karaoke or uh, fraternity hazing. How so? Oh, when the individual is humiliated, their perceived value of the group is raised. Mm. I went on a retreat when I got promoted ahead of the unit. I mean, I wasn't humiliated. I wasn't brainwashed. So you say. I wasn't. It was useful, actually. How so? Learning about communication and leadership skills, building trust. Something you could profit from. What does that mean? Like you don't know you have major trust issues? I trust people. I trust you. No, you don't. I don't trust you either. It's upsetting to hear that. And really, you don't trust me? Of course not. How many times have you lied to me, misled me, tricked me? Is that trust? No. Well, you have to remedy this. Let's do a trust fall. A trust fall? Yeah, I'm sure you did one on your CBI retreat. It's when you turn around and fall backward and I catch you. Oh, yes, we did do that. Mm -hmm. No. You won't? We have a long drive still. Ah, here we have two co-workers recognizing the boundaries of the professional relationship. So you want to trust me, but there's something holding you back. Yes, you're untrustworthy. It's my job not to trust you. Lisbon, I want you to know that you can trust me. No matter what happens, I will be there for you. I will. I need you to know that. I can I catch you? Please. Fine. Come on. See? You can trust me. Oh, wow, that worked. Suddenly I trust you. Uh huh. I allow you to drive me around the country in this contraption. A serious trust.